So a few days ago, I made a video about how to deepen your voice. And one of the commenters writes, Elliot, I have a quick question. How is it that you become so charismatic? So it had nothing to do with the deepening of the voice, but apparently a lot of people had the same question because if you don't know, in YouTube, if you hit the thumbs up button for a comment, it shows up higher and, uh, and it gives an indication as to what the readers of the comments are interested in knowing more about or agree with and apparently this one got a lot of thumbs up so I figured I'd make this video for you. So with regard to becoming more charismatic, I'm going to take a bit of a poetic approach. The first thing I want to draw to your attention is that we've got three brains. I've talked about this before. This is all very well documented and believed in the scientific community that we have a neocortex, a cortex, and a medulla or brainstem type brain, right? Each one of those is, has a particular function. The neocortex is really the human brain. It's the one that makes human beings unique. It allows us to do things like create technology, mathematics, language, things of that nature. It's the one that we spend most of our time learning how to use in school and in society. Then we've got the middle brain, which is the, the cortex, or also considered the mammalian brain, because it's the same brain that most mammals have. Monkeys have the same brain. It's the brain that creates tribal association, loving feelings, uh, caring for our young, right? So it's more of an animal brain, but it's higher than the lower brain, which is the reptilian brain, or the medulla, or brainstem. This is the brain that does all the stuff, 99% of the stuff that happens inside us as human beings, that makes us human beings, um, or alive, is controlled by the brainstem and the, the reptilian brain. It takes care of things like beating your heart, right? So if you didn't have that brain, it just, you die. Uh, digesting food, secreting hormones, making a baby inside a woman, even without her having to think about making a baby. It grows your hair, it, it grows your teeth, it grows your bones. It does all of the functions that we don't have to think about that keep us alive, okay? Now, with regard to that, so that's a scientific approach. Let's take for a moment a religious approach to this, so bear with me, but if you consider Christianity, the same triad also exists. You've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And if you consider how the characteristics of each of those three in that trinity associate with the three parts of the human nervous system, you can see how the Father is sort of the higher consciousness, the higher brain, the one that uh, is far more creative, perhaps, than the other ones, right? The Father, the Creator. Then you've got the middle brain, right? The Son. The Son is also synonymous with the Mother in other traditions. You know? So if, I, if you consider Native American traditions, you have the Father, the Mother, and they call it the Child. The, we've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the Son is like Jesus Christ, is the Lover. It's the one that's associated with primal association, with caring for our young, that's what makes mammals unique. Love, emotion in that regard. So the lower brain, the lowest brain, is associated with the Holy Ghost or the child simply because it acts without having to think. The highest brain is the thinker, you got the feeler, and you've got the doer, right? And the doer, like the Holy Ghost, because a freaking ghost, you can't see a ghost, right? But it does shit without you seeing it. The entire peripheral nervous system, everything below your neck, right? Below that cortex, your brainstem and peripheral nervous system is all ghostly. The shit, it does what it has to do without you having to think about it. It's powerful, it's the mover, it's the shaker, it's the one that all vertebrates have, right? So, I also take a poetic approach to that triad and I've used this, these terms before where I say you've got your head brain, your heart, and your balls, right? And if you look at how each of them correlate, it's the same thing. You got your head brain that basically uh, is our analytical, logistic brain. You've got your heart, which is the feeling, emotional brain. And you got your balls, which is the doer. This is the, the one that gets things done. This is where your hormones are secreted, your sex center, you know? Sexual energy is a lot of, is really what animates a lot of what happens in the body. So I call it the balls, and it's also the doer. You know, if someone who does things has what? Balls. That guy's got some balls. The reason what? The reason why? It's because he does stuff. He gets off his ass and does things. So when you ask me, Elliot, how is it that you're so charismatic, right? 
We've got to consider that 90% of the people, us in the Western world, and that live in societies, are conditioned through school systems that cause us to sit down, shut up, and just use our neocortex, use our head brain to ignore everything from down below. In most schools, you're now recognizing the fact that they're, I, I was talking to my sister the other day and my brother, and my brother's a school teacher, and the kids don't have recess anymore. They can't use their bodies. Phys ed is kind of, you know, they keep shrinking it down. So this whole idea of the intelligence of the body, of the heart and the balls is shrinking. And it's causing a lot of dysfunction in our lifestyles and in our, in our health. But anyway, the fact is that we're shrinking the value of our heart and our balls, the body brain, right? The, the, the Son and the Holy Ghost, right? And what happens is it leaves people robot-like. It leaves us computer-like because we're, we're taught to sit down, shut up, and just absorb via the head brain and then regurgitate. So everything that we do stays up here, right? We go and we watch TV, we play video games. Everything excludes the bodies or the motility of the in individual. Motility is a term used to describe how the body will bring forth its, the, its feeling, how it expresses the feelings, the heart and the balls work together to create motility. So when you ask me how I become so charismatic, it's because I've decided to trust my heart and my balls, to trust the Son and the Holy Ghost, and ignore what is happening in the head brain to a particular degree. It doesn't mean that I'm, you know, I'm so crazy that I just shut off my brain. But that term, shut off your brain, is something that I allow to happen. So I don't script any of these videos because the, if I script them, they're in my fucking head. When you watch me do live events, like in my, uh, my Elliot, Lott, Elliot Live, I field questions without thinking about it. But what you'll notice is that I'm moving all over the place. When I make these videos, I'm rocking often. People are like, why, are you, why do you rock so much when you're talking, Elliot? I embody everything that I say. Everything that I say, like I'm saying it right now. I embody, look at what I'm doing. I'm using my heart and my balls to bring forth the things that I wanna share with you, right? So you say charismatic. But there, there's another term, which I can't fucking remember right now, where basically it's, it's, um, it's coming from my heart. See, when I share with you guys, I don't share with you things that are in my head. Of course there are things that I've learned and there are things that I absorb, but I bring them down into my body through experience. So most of the shit that I share with you guys, it's not because I read a lot of books, it's because I read it and I experience it. And I either experience it through my imagination Right? And through my imagination stimulates my heart and my balls to make it feel as if the thing is happening in me. They've done studies on Olympic athletes where if they uh, visualize sprinting, their body actually is stimulated. They, they put like these uh, tester things on their muscles and their muscles are twitching as they're imagining what's happening. I embody the things that I learn. Right, I, I, and this is, I don't know why or how I learned how to do this because uh, you know, it's in my nature. When I was a kid and I was in school, they had to give me attention deficit disorder drugs to shut me down and, and, and quiet my body because I got up and I moved around and I was just way too active for the teacher to, to teach me. And you know, it made me feel like, you know, this, and everyone else think that this kid's retarded, there's something wrong with him. But as I grew up, I realized that my genius is in my ability to embody the things I learn and bring it forth in a charismatic fashion. So what I would invite you to do, right? You were hoping that I'd give you like tips and secrets, shit that your head could use to apply on your body in order to be more charismatic, but I can't. What you've got to do is you've got to let go of your head. You've got to literally shut off that neocortex. It's a valuable tool, but we sh we have allowed it to become our master. You've got to shut off that part of your brain and trust your heart and your balls to produce the truth of what you want to express. Now the thing is not everything that I say is right or true. But it is genuine. It is heartfelt. It's from my balls. Because I literally just open up. I don't script. I don't think. I just give. It's because I trust the Holy Ghost. I trust the Son. Right? A lot of Christians out there. You call yourself Christians, but you don't trust the Jesus Christ in you. The Son. Or the Holy Ghost. It's all about the Father. The Father, 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 Father. Head brain. Get out of your fucking head. Get into your heart, get into your balls, and look, it's scary. You gotta have courage to do this shit.
right? I, it takes me a lot of courage to share this way with you guys. I make some videos and you've seen them where it's like this guy, people think I'm nuts, but I don't care. You know, it's like, I don't know if it's courageousness or carelessness, but I just don't care. I'm bringing forth because I know that it's genuine. So, and I trust God, right? I trust the spirit in me. I trust the Holy Ghost that if I'm just genuine, it's good, it's from my heart, it's true. And perhaps, maybe, maybe not, but perhaps it may be resourceful to other people. That's why I put on this camera and I do it for you so that you can perhaps gain something, perhaps permission to let your heart and your balls speak. So that's it, bro. Shut off the brain and speak from your balls. Good luck. Elliot said, Elliot. what?